Hello everyone, this is Cat and Code here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new second-hand laptop that I have just purchased yesterday. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad X230. Lenovo ThinkPad X230. This uh, machine has been uh, introduced and produced and produced in uh, 2012 so eight years ago so this is an eight years old laptop this is an uh, ultrabook 12.5 inches and you can see the size of this ultrabook in comparison with the macbook uh, pro 2018 so a lot uh, smaller So I bought uh, this uh, Ultrabook ThinkPad for 230 Australian dollar, and this price includes a genuine ThinkPad dock. So in, with this uh, mini docking station, I can expand to six more USB ports and uh, five more monitors. I also can lock the the laptop to the dock so people cannot take it away without a key. Okay. Let's have a look at the laptop. So this laptop has uh, six cell batteries and it's very small and light. It has a USB 3. It has the USB Two USB 3.0 and uh, one USB 2. It also has a PCI Express card. Uh, has a PCI Express card. So with this card, I can attach uh, an external GPU if I want to do a heavy editing or heavy video games. I can attach an external graphics card to this little. Ultra book. So it's a it's an old laptop, but it actually has a lot of modern features that can support the modern task. And this laptop has a this laptop has an eight gigabyte of RAM. Uh, the GPU is Core i5 two point eight gigahertz and um, it also has a. It also has a. Let me let me see. Uh, it also has a three hundred and twenty two gigabytes of uh, hard drive. What I gonna do with this laptop is I gonna clean the laptop with the wet screen wipe. I'm gonna clean the screen, clean the keyboards, and everything actually the previous owner keep the laptop uh, very carefully so it's uh, in a very good condition I'm very happy with this purchase the keyboard looks still very nice as you may know uh, ThinkPad is very famous the ThinkPad brand is very famous for the keyboards and um, the X230 the ThinkPad X230 is is a very um, capable machine in a very small form, and uh, even it's already eight years old. I think it still can. Uh, I still can uh, achieve. I still can do many common tasks, everyday tasks with it, like uh, coding, uh, teaching, symbol editing. I think uh, unless I want to play uh, very heavy video games or I want to program uh, complex, I want to create complex video games, I don't really need a more powerful laptop. Um, if I want to do those tasks, I will do it with a PC from home. For this laptop, for uh, web development, symbol, uh, mobile development, 
even some some small mini games development and uh, some simple video editing i can just uh, do i can all, do all those tasks with this small laptop and uh, the reason why i bought a second hand laptop instead of a brand new um, a brand new laptop that is very powerful is that if I want to uh, achieve or to do some tasks with which require a powerful machine I would go with a PC um, and I will do it at home instead of uh, carrying a very heavy laptop and uh, with me and do some complex tasks on the go I would rather do some simple tasks uh, with a small laptop and I will do the heavy tasks with my PC so um, there's no point of paying so much money hundreds of thousand um, I mean uh, thousands of dollars for a laptop and you have to carry them around it's better to pay little for an old and small laptop and then invest the money on a good PC so this laptop is only $230 with the dock so I think this is a very good deal um, so um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna keep the Windows 7 in this laptop for a while and I'm gonna use it to update the BIOS and other drivers because the, I'm a, I'm afraid that the BIOS software, the BIOS update software in the Lenovo website may not be able to run on Windows 10. So uh, after I update the BIOS, I'm gonna update the Windows 7 to Windows 10. Um, I believe we still can do that in 2020. If you have a genuine Windows 7 key or copy, you can update it legally to Windows 10 without paying any money and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for a new on the SSD I'm gonna update the hard drive of this laptop to a SSD um, currently the sweet spot for SSD is around 500 gigabyte so that's the best uh, that gives you the best value at the moment for the money so I'm gonna wait for a new on uh, 500 gigabyte SSD and I replace the I replace the old hard drive of this laptop with the SSD and I believe it will uh, make the laptop a lot faster and I think um, Core i5 2.8 gigahertz 8 GB of RAM I think I can do most of my daily tasks with it except uh, heavy gaming heavy game development for any other sort of symbol development or other symbol thing, I think this is more than enough. This little laptop for 230 Australian dollars. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe and share the videos with your friends. I really appreciate thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye